Sunak is spearheading a significant shift in Britain's defence strategy by announcing plans to bolster military spending. The initiative involves relocating funds by reducing civil service staff by 70,000, aiming to free up £3 billion, or should I say £3 billion, by the end of the decade. The move is part of a broader plan to increase defence spending to 2.5% of national income by 2030, amounting to an extra £75 billion over six years. The reduction in civil service positions marks a notable change in priorities, shifting resource from administrative roles to military capabilities. Sunak's pledge underscores a growing sentiment globally towards heightened military expenditure, particularly in the face of escalating geopolitical tension. As the world witnesses Russia's actions in Ukraine, Iran's aggressive stance, and China's assertive behaviour, there's a collective recognition that investing in defence is imperative to safeguarding national interests and security. While Sunak's announcement has garnered support from some quarters, there's also cautious scrutiny regarding the efficient utilisation of additional funds. Concerns linger about whether the Ministry of Defence will effectively manage the influx of resources and ensure they're channeled towards enhancing defence capabilities rather than plugging budgetary gaps.